Oh, and uh, Kim Ann Harper wrote to me yesterday and said, I got the wrong Kim. It was Kim Davis who lives in California and uh, does walkabouts in the redwood forests and in national parks and a bit of unboxing and painting and her hobbies. Yeah, that was the channel I wanted to recommend. So all this time I've been replying to the comments of Kim Ann Harper as if she were Kim Davis. <laughs> Before this van life adventure began, five months ago, I used to rent a room in Reading from this chap who uh, sometimes we'd, you know, both be working and have to catch the same train or go towards Reading Central at around uh, 7.30 in the morning. And although we'd walk the same route, he would take the uh, the road or the path next to the road and I'd go through all the parks and I didn't know which was shorter or longer but it's more pleasant to walk through a park than, than right next to a busy road surely good to see the playgrounds back open from a children's point of view now it's not the autumn yet these are just sunburned leaves that have fallen off in the summer heat. In about six weeks autumn will be in full swing or as Southern Wanderer and Kim Davis would say the fall. But let's hope that in six weeks time the fall of America is only about leaves and not about the complete loss of that amazing country and I'm not talking about who the people vote for among the political candidates standing I'm talking about the more sinister forces of globalism that bankroll terrorist outfits like BLM, Antifa don't quite know what Extinction Rebellion is all about not entirely sure if they do either but yes, you know what I'm talking about, it's this nascent global government trying to gain control over the entire damn world using medical tyranny, let's face it. That is a really clear photo of cabbages. Good work co-op photographer your nation salutes you mr. co-op cabbage photographer please photograph my cabbages But the neighbouring businesses, to my friends who are trying to steal his customers, they're only doing it to survive because, yeah, 25% re recession. Who is really going out to spend £5 on a cup of organic coffee? Uh, who else is going to spend £30 on a fancy Italian haircut? Nancy Pelosi is under fire today after surveillance video shows her at a hair salon getting a blowout and not wearing a face mask. I mean, during normal times we could all treat ourselves to those things, rich and poor. But now, nah, it's not those times, is it? is genius. Look, a load of smokers have shoved cigarette butts into the void behind the face stone there. And a few more have found a suitable graveyard on the inset relief. A few more causing a fire hazard among the dry leaves and blown paper.
blessed that many of you wish to donate money through PayPal. Comments there. And uh, my friend Simon Blake, uh, he just sent me a quid through PayPal to my email address. All I do is push a few buttons and it's set up. So here is the PayPal link. PayPal.me slash socks with sandals. Anyone wants to help me get through this winter? Obviously, you know what I need. Diesel heater, insulation, <laughs> a proper tog duvet or army sleeping blanket, things like that. And uh, just a fiver a day for food and diesel. I mean, obviously, I'll be looking at trying to get the uniform basic income from the government. I don't know what I'll have to do to earn that, whether it'll turn towards, you know, injections and testing and tracking, but we'll see. And uh, anyone who sends me money, I'll buy what I need. And with your permission, I'll mention you as the provider of that uh, material item. So if you forget that link, paypal.me slash socks with sandals. I'm going to include it in the description below on all my videos and edit them into all my past videos and uh, let's hope it doesn't turn to this nationwide, eh? This is Trafalgar Square right now. I must say, without Simon's help already, I wouldn't have been able to get those tyres and leisure battery for the MOT and keep me going in van life. And thanks also to Marcel, uh, another friend that I met in Beckles in Suffolk. And uh, yeah, he allowed me to be on the road for another two months than I would have just on my own savings alone. I'm trying to remember where I parked my van. Are those Doric or Ionian column tops? Those divergent rays are called crepuscular. Under the right conditions, those sunbeams that appear to diverge, you can see going over your head parallel and then converging on the other horizon. I have photographed that phenomenon a couple of times, but damned if I'm going to search through my tens of thousands of pictures on my <laughs> various broken laptops to fish that one out for you. Although I must say, after the end of season two, I thought, you know, I was grounded, no MOT, no budget for anything. I thought, oh, I'm just going to be stuck in the, uh, the town where the van's registered, just going through old archive footage of what life was like before the bloody hoax but I seem to have channeled my inner Brett is I can just be in the same town every day doing pretty much the same thing and still find something to talk about and even if there's nothing to talk about I can still elaborate upon that it's interesting what's the story with this cabinet door Please take this if you like. Huh. Hmm. Could I do with that? Hmm. Do you know what? Yes. <laughs> I decided I could do with this panel.
oh, I can't rest. I've got to pick up my uh, other solar panel from my friend's business. More like it. Good start. There is my other 35 watt solar panel. It's a total of about 80 watts. That should be enough to keep my 70 amp hour battery charged up for keeping the phone and laptop going. Maybe the lights, we'll see. Feeling. Oh, I did have a feeling. Lost my train of thought. As Brett says, I'll bring you back. But uh, I'm not sure if I can bring myself back and reboard that train of thought. I think it's left the station, it's derailed in the middle of nowhere. No, it's gone. <laughs> All that without cannabis or booze. What an achievement. Yeah, so my mate Marcel tried to set me up with some of the crypto like uh, Ethereum and Bitcoin. But, oh, I end up going through apps like Monolith and Arjon and Moonpig and they just wanted so much, you know? Every bloody detail about me. Passport, address, all that crap. Whereas PayPal was just easy. I got a link from uh, my mate Simon. Just pressed it, a quid came in. It's pretty simple. I just chose a name for myself. PayPal.me slash Socks with Sandals. A pretty good impersonation of Major Chuck Badass, if I say so myself. Well, I think that's it for today's episode. So, uh, to compensate for the mess up yesterday, watch the real Kim Davis there. Although, I do welcome Kim and Harper's efforts to win gold. And uh, some other stuff down there. Don't forget the PayPal me. Dot socks with sandals. No, PayPal.me slash socks with sandals. And see you in the next one. B-roll if there's any time. I think I've wasted it all. <laughs>